Good morning, I'm Suzanne Marquez. We want to update you on the stories we're working on today. Here is the rundown. A fire tore through businesses in downtown LA's fashion district. The fire broke out around four this morning on Wall Street near Pico. The situation was very difficult for firefighters because there was just so much clothing packed into the stores. More than 100 firefighters battled the flames and they were able to knock it down within two hours. Investigators are on the scene looking into the cause and several business owners now have to figure out how to pick up the pieces. Two 12 year old boys and a 16 year old girl were shot in South LA. Police say they were standing outside of a home when somebody drove up and started shooting last night. A couple of miles away, three men were also shot in another drive by around 1130. One man is in critical condition and so far nobody's been arrested. An investigation is underway in Anaheim after an explosion at a strip mall. Police are trying to determine if it was caused by an illegal drug lab and they're searching for a possible suspect seen running from the scene with extensive burns. Now here's Danielle Gersh with a look at the weather. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Suzanne. Good morning, everyone. We are going to see temperatures climbing into the 70s along the coast today. The warming trend continues, so we'll have 80s for the basin and 90s, even some triple digits for the valleys into the Inland Empire today. So we're tracking that major warm up that everyone will really start to notice more tomorrow into your weekend. If you're making plans for uh, Saturday and Sunday, just know many of you, especially the inland area, is going to be up against triple digit heat. Higher elevations could even see some thunderstorm activity into tomorrow and Saturday too, cooling down into the start of next week. Suzanne. Thanks, Danielle. I'm Suzanne Marquez. Remember to join us on CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. and watch CBS and Los Angeles. It's streaming 24 seven on CBSLA.com and on the free CBS News app. We're also on Xbox One, Roku, PlayStation, Amazon Fire and Apple TV. Enjoy the rest of your day.